Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given system of three equations with three variables by using the method called Kramer's rule. And one more thing, just keep in your mind that uh, these x variables must be nicely lined up like over here. Y variables must be lined up as well and for z variables as well. And as we can see that in the second equation x variable is missing. So whenever any variable is missing we're going to put down zero time that variable. And let's look at in the first equation the variable of x is missing. Uh, the coefficient of x is missing, so it's going to be by default 1. And here the coefficient of y is going to be negative 1. And over here in third equation, the variable of z is going to be a negative 1. So our system of this equation could be nicely written as over here as you can see and on the right hand side of this equal sign I have given these numbers a different color. And finally in our last table as you can see I have put down the coefficient for x, y and z variables on the left hand side. And now we want to solve the system of equation. Solving the system means that we are looking for x equal to how much, y equal to how much, and we are looking for z value as well. These are unknowns. So for that purpose, I have nicely set up these x, y, and z variable with one box on the top and one box at the bottom and these boxes are called the determinants the determinants of a 3 by 3 matrix so once again these boxes are called determinants and now in the next step we are going to fill out these boxes and let's look at these numbers in the table on the left hand side of these equal sign these numbers we are going to put it in all these boxes all right so we're going to put down these number in all these boxes and here as you can see that i have nicely filled out all these boxes with these numbers in this table. Let's focus on this right hand side column which is 0, negative 1, 10. We are going to put down all these values in that column for x. It's going to come in the very first column on the left hand side. As we go along it's going to drag to, it's going to shift to the second column for y and for z is going to be third column over here and we have nicely filled out over here this first column for x second column for y and third column for z and finally let me go ahead and write down all these numbers in this in these boxes as a final product so i am going to write down 0, negative 1, 10 in the top box, top determinant, negative 1, 2, 8, here 3, negative 5, negative 1, and for this y top determinant is going to be a 1, 0, negative 5, 0, negative 1, 10, and here 3, negative 5, negative 1, and over here is going to be 1, 0, negative 5, 
is negative 1, 2, 8, and here 0, negative 1, 10. These are the top determinants. Let's look at now the bottom determinant for x. That's 1, 0, negative 5, negative 1, 2, 8, 3, negative 5, negative 1. As you can see that these bottom determinants are same and here we have nicely filled out all the boxes. And finally here are our determinants on the top and the bottom for x, y and z variables and in the next step we are going to evaluate find the value of each and every determinant one at a time. Let's go ahead and take care of this determinant first at the bottom. And here's the determinant that I have copied down over here. Let me show you a really easy way to find the value of this determinant. The very first thing we are going to draw this horizontal line right above this bottom row. The very first thing is we are going to crisscross multiply 1 times 2 is 2 then put a minus sign negative 1 times 0 is 0 2 minus 0 is 2 this 2 is gonna go in the opposite side let's crisscross next two columns negative 1 times negative 5 is positive 5 minus 3 times 2 is 6 so that's going to become negative 1 so this negative 1 is going to go in this opposite side and now let's look at this very first column over here i'm going to copy and paste on this side zero one zero rather and let's crisscross now three times zero is zero minus one times negative five is negative five zero negative and negative become positive five so that means this positive five is going to go in the middle let's go ahead multiply these numbers and add them up we are going to multiply negative 5 negative 1 8 with 5 and 1 with negative 1 with 2 let's multiply see that's going to become positive 5 plus 40 minus 1 times 2 is negative 2 if we do this thing that's going to get 43 so this is the value of this bottom determinant this one so that means we're going to put down 43 at the denominator since all these determinants are same so that means all of them going to have 43 at the denominator value so we are going to get 43 at the denominator and now let's go ahead and evaluate this determinant, the top determinant for x. And here I have copied it down right up here. Let's find the value of this determinant. Once again, the very first thing is we are going to draw the horizontal line right above this third row. Let's crisscross. Zero times two is zero minus negative one times one is positive 1 so that's going to give us a negative 1 so negative 1 is going to show up in the opposite side let's crisscross the next two columns negative 1 times negative 5 is going to be positive 5 minus 3 times 2 is 6 so that's going to give us a negative 1 so negative 1 is going to show up in the left hand side and now let's look at this very first column 0 negative 1 I'm gonna copy and paste over here and let's crisscross once again 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 minus 0 times negative 5 is 0 so that's gonna give us negative 3 so let me just write down negative 3 over here let's now go ahead and 
multiply and then add them up multiply these two numbers multiply them multiply them and let's see what happens negative 1 times 10 is negative 10 minus 24 and negative 1 negative 1 become positive 1 if we add them up we simplify them we are going to get negative 33 that means the value the top determinant for x has a value of negative 33 now let's go ahead and evaluate this next determinant the top part of y and here's the determinant that I have copied down very first thing is just simply draw this horizontal line let's crisscross once again 1 times negative 1 is going to be negative 1 minus 0 times 0 is 0 that's going to give us negative 1 so this negative 1 is going to go in the opposite side let's crisscross these two 0 times negative 1 is 0 minus negative 3 is negative and negative become positive 3 so that is going to be positive 3 right up here and next is we are going to copy this first column 1 0 and paste it on this side and let's crisscross once again 0 times 3 is 0 minus negative 5 so 0 negative and negative become positive 5 that like positive 5 is going to go in the middle let's go ahead and multiply and then add these number up so we are going to multiply these numbers and then add them up so that is going to give us negative 15 plus 10 times 5 is 50 plus 1 if we add and subtract this one simplify that is going to give us 36 so that means the value of this top part top determinant turns out to be for y is 36 and finally here is the determinant for z on the top let's do the very first thing let's draw this horizontal line right above this third row let's crisscross this one two times one is two minus zero time negative one is zero two minus zero is two two is gonna go in the opposite side negative one negative one become positive one minus zero time two is zero one minus zero is one so one is gonna go in the opposite side and now finally one zero we are going to copy and paste on this side let's crisscross this one 0 times 0 is 0 we put a minus sign negative 1 times 1 is negative 1 so 0 negative and negative become positive 1 that's going to be 1 so 1 is going to show up right in the middle let's multiply and add them up negative 5 times 1 is this is what this is 8 times 1 and 2 10 times 2 so let's multiply first negative 5 plus 8 plus 20 so that is going to give us 23 all right so 23 is going to go on the numerator for z variable so thus our solution turns out to be x equal to negative 33 over 43 for y it is 36 over 43 and for z it is 23 over 3 and that is our answer and now here it is your assignment can you do it on your own now you can take your time luckily i have already uploaded this video as well please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer
Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.